Hi guys, w welcome to another video with Happy Job Blogs, guys. Today is um, um today is, today is Sunday, February 4, 2024. Um, today we do another another topic and different video today. But before we start, I want to do a little prayer for, for this video. In the name of in the Father and the, the Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you for this beautiful day, Father. Thank you for everything that we're doing today, Lord. Bless this video, Lord. Bless everyone who will be watching this video, Lord. Bless their lives, everything, Lord. And can you talk to me, put the words Holy Spirit in my mouth, Lord. He, he, he put the words, because you, you're a father, our father in heaven, Lord. We we don't worship anybody, Lord. If we don't do it how we want it, it's you, it's you going to put the words in my mouth. Holy Spirit, thank you, Father. Bless this video today. Thank you. In the name of Jesus, amen. Amen. For this topic to, tonight, guys, uh, to a, um, the new topic tonight, we're going to be talking about um, some, something in the Bible, the, the Holy Spirit. But before we get started, I want to know the book of, um, the book of Acts. Um, who wrote the Acts book is the uh, disciple Luke. He wrote the Acts and the book of Luke. He wrote himself. But uh, the reason he wrote this book, and I, I'm going to try to read it, and then I'll explain. And, 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 and we'll read Acts 1. Verse, verse all the way down to verse four. We'll read. This will be Jesus. With Jesus was taking the end of heaven. And former the book, no, I wrote about all that Jesus began to do, teach until the day he was taken up to heaven. After he was giving entrance to the Holy Spirit and to the apostles, he was chosen. After he was suffering, his present present his himself. Amen. Amen. To them, he was given many covenant, covenant proof that he was alive. He was alive, and he appeared to them over four, period of forty days. He spoke ab about the kingdom of God on the cousin while he was eating with them. Given then this command, and about that, like like who was this book? Why why did Luke wrote this? Why Luke wrote the book of Acts? A reason, and I, I wrote it down here to explain the book of Acts is Luke. This is to um, his name is something like the the phone. The uh, this person was he was really um, a small, a really smart person. Like that's what we we we, we thinking, right? We don't know for sure, but he studied the law because he he, he was dialing the um, dialing stuff. To the, he didn't know for sure what Jesus did, but but Luke wrote. I think I think example I think it was the, the the apostles went to Luke and he they told everything what what they, they were they, they were with Jesus preaching right he everything that's what we were thinking and the first thing why why this this book is important and why it's important everybody why because the reason um, if we don't have the Holy Spirit in ourselves and why we don't because if we don't put the Holy Spirit, God is not going to open doors for you. He's not going to do it how you want it. If you do it your way and you're fresh, He's not going to answer like prayers. Cause he's not going to do. If you, you have the Holy Spirit, there's a lot of things in the Bible. You, you have to pray. You have to like pray, give thanks to the Lord, read the Bible, understand it, everything, commit, keep all His commandments. Do not sin. That's what He has. That's what He has. And that's the real reason. So I'll get to I'll get a few minutes to the other books later. But for the beginning, acts something I wrote uh, that I understand the other day that I've been reading this like last night. I think I wrote, I was reading and what he said. The Bible says, if example I example I'm a Christian and my family were Christians and I have the Holy Spirit. If I don't have the Holy Spirit, I cannot preach. I can I cannot. Do what uh, Jesus have for me. If I do it my own way, it's an example. Lord, help! I want this right now. No, 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 no. It's not what how what I want it. If I do it my way, nothing's gonna work for me. I'm probably gonna maybe like like having an example a bad day or nothing's gonna work for me. Yeah, I can't blame God for all my problems. No, 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 no. You can't blame God for everything if you lost somebody. No, you can. He see, he sees everything, and that's the reason. This reason. But I want to get to the a different page. It's the same the, the Acts and Luke. 
Let me see if I, I can find this. The book of Matthew. I'm going to explain a little bit. Let me give me a chance to read. I want to get to the um, Matthew, like, verse 2. Verse, uh, I'm going to read it. Verse, it's all the way down. Let me see. Verse 2, 23. This is what, well, verse 13. I'm going to read verse 13 all the way to the 16. A baptized of Jesus. Then Jesus came to Galilee, to Galilee to the Jordan. He was baptized by John, his cousin, the, the Baptist. But John tried to dear him, saying, Nee, I need to be baptized by you. But, and do you come to me? I'm going to try to reply what Jesus said. Let's let's be so now. So we pro for us to do this fully and righteous. That's what then John can As soon Number verse 16. As soon Jesus was baptized, he went up to the water at the moment, and the heaven was open, but he saw the Spirit of God give his scanning like a dove, alighting on him, and a voice from heaven said this, This is my son, when I love, love him, and I will please. This is what God said. That's what God said to Jesus in the, up here. But the one thing that John the Baptist wanted, he wanted I want he he wanted to say Jesus baptize me. You the you're the you're the the Messiah. I want to be baptized. So you no, know? he said no. Baptize me. That's what, what the everything what the prophets wrote about them, like Prophet Isaiah wrote about him before the coming Messiah. But I want to stop a second to explain about that. The beginning of the Holy Spirit story story after the prophets um the apostles I meant they. After Jesus was with them, the apostles for forty days, he eat with them. He sit there. He sat down. And he blessed them, and then, the, then the spirit got. Then he, he went up to heaven. But then the two angels appeared to them. Why are you? Why you're looking up to heaven? The same Jesus, he was with you. He's he's gonna be turned one day in in the heaven. The same time he he went up, he's gonna be turned the same. Everybody, he's gonna come back one day. But we don't know the date. We don't know the hour. We don't know the day. It doesn't say the relation and, and the book of relation. But the one thing we need to do, we should not be, we should not be like wasting time, like like wasting time having fun, not reading the Bible. That's what the devil wants. He wants us to to he wants us to to not go to heaven. He wants all of us to go and help. No, but we keep his commitments. It, we all have to keep our salvation. We all, I can speak for everybody, but we all have to keep our salvation. We have to follow his commandments. If we don't follow his commandments, nobody's going to enter the kingdom of heaven. We all will be going to heaven. Now, I want to stop one one thing. Ask yourselves, everybody. If Jesus was coming to, tonight, where are you going to go? Are you going to go to heaven or heaven or hell? That's really a tough question to all us we have to ask. And I will put my, I'll put an example for myself. I've been asking myself many times over the years, Lord, if I want, I want to go to heaven, but how how can I do that? I have to keep reading. I have to keep following the Ten Commandments, honor Him each day, read the Bible, pray, and understanding. Even if some of you guys don't know, um, the baptize is. I'll explain a little bit. The baptize when you get baptized in the name of Jesus, you give your life to Jesus. It, it does not mean after you get baptized, you're safe. No, you have a lot of challenges to go there. You have to read the Bible, get a Bible. You have to read, you have to obey his, all his commandments because that's what God, God let their commandments. He get the, the commandments, um, the law before this, it was get, it was given to the law of Moses, right? In the beginning, or um, in the Old Testament, in Exodus. But if we don't do it, our lives are not going to be the same, everybody. We're all going to have to maybe, sometimes we forget to read the Bible. Sometimes we forget, we get stressed, we get pressure. Sometimes we don't want, I don't want to read the Bible anymore. I don't want to, I don't want to do this. I don't want to go to church. I don't want to do that. No, it, your life will not be the same. You'll, you'll go back to the, in the you want to be like the, the rest of people who are living outside in darkness right now. Okay? They don't have the Holy Spirit. They're not Christian. But if you, have um and have example if you have um had left from church or and I'm trying to give you an example don't if you if you went back to the world 
Return to God. Return to God because it, he, return to Him because He He's coming soon, and we all know and where we're going to be at. I know where I'm going to go if I I'm going to go to heaven. But how for sure I know? And my name is my name is my name is, my name will be in, one, in the book. They're asking the angel, "Come in, John," and my name will be there. I come in. Well, you go to heaven. You're gonna be. You're not gonna be by your family or your brother or your sister, or your mom. You're gonna be front and gone in private. And he's gonna ask you all the good things you did, the good things or bad things. He's gonna show you like a big TV screen. He's gonna show you everything what you did in your life. Everything he's gonna show you. If, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's like not a good question, but I know. But it's something we all have to work on because. I don't want to go on ahead. I don't want God to remember me for what I did today. That I did today Sunday to preach to all you guys to tell you about the coming of Jesus. And he's going to tell me you did preach to everything, John. You did you did all the good things. You preached to to everything. You by my my laws. You loved me. You kept your commandments. You did walk in. But uh, that's up to you. Ask yourself if you don't for if you don't bless your enemies. God is not going to forget your sins. If you don't bless your people who hurt your failings or bully you, it's not going to forget you on your sins if you don't forget others. But that's another topic for another time. But the one thing we, we're living right now, right now, that we're doing right now, and I'm going to go back to the Old Testament, to the book of Joel. Hold you a second. Let me get that second. Joel, verse 2, verse 2. 32. And I'm going to try to re read it. So, read it. I'm going to read no, Joel verse 2, verse 28. So, the day of the Lord. And I and I will, I will put my spirit on all people. Your sons and daughters will be prophesied. Your old men will dream dreams. Your young men will see visions, even my servant, both man and woman. I will put my spirit in those days. I will show the wonders in the heavens and the earth. Blood will be blood and fire, and will blow up the smoke, and the sun will turn darkness, and the moon blood will be before coming to the great difficult of the Lord. And everyone who calls the name of the Lord will be saved, for the Mount of Zion and the Jerusalem will be delivered. Deliverance, as the Lord has said, more survivors when the, the Lord calls. Let me explain that the prophet Joel is praying the day he prophesies. This was before we prophesied before Jesus was coming. He prophesied because we're living in right now. So what are we doing? The day of the Lord is coming soon. And, and he said, okay, we'll be prophesied our our the spirit of the Holy Spirit will be preached, will be like will be our sons and daughters will be prophesied. We'll, you're, you're, I'll read it again so you can understand. I will put and the I will put my spirit on all people. Your sons and daughters will prophesy, and your old men will dream dreams, and your young men will see visions, even but women. And I will put my spirit in those days. I'll stop right there. He, the, the prophet Joel is saying that in those days, right now, will be will be like God will get, he's, he let he let he he, he let the Holy, Jesus went to heaven, but he let the Holy Spirit. And he's telling us we're, we're going to be preaching. We're going to be like we're going to be prophesized. We're going to prophesize in visions, and we're going to see a lot of things. And coming soon, this world is going to, not going to last. It's going to turn darkness, blood. According to the Bible, says this world is not going to last. The day Jesus is coming, and this world is not going to last. It's going to turn blood. The ocean will be blood. It will be coming great difficult of the day. Of the Lord, there will be the darkness. It will be smoke. It will be darkness. This everything is going to be destroyed. But God, Jesus, God promised, God, I'm making a new place for us in heaven. He's making the new, new Jerusalem, the new heaven where we. Where we that's the new place we're going to be. Everything's going to be new. Everything is going to be new. Up there, we're not going to. We're going to. We're going to. We're not going to be suffering in jobs. We're not going to be like working. We're not going to maybe have problems. People are going to offend us. No cars. No. Up there, heaven, new, there will be a new, new beginning. Not end, but a new beginning because God has given us a new chance to live with Him. We need Him. But that's up to you. Up to you if you want to go to heaven, heaven or hell. That's your, that's your life salvation and your what you want to do. I can't force you, but keep it in mind tonight.
You keep in mind because um, one day I'm not gonna be here. I'm not gonna be pre preaching. The day God comes, I'm gonna be me and my family. We're all gonna disappear. And we're gonna be gone in heaven. And the, the people who did not give to, to Jesus, who did not give this life to Him, then it's gonna be sad that day when it comes with Jesus. It's gonna be really sad. It's gonna be sad because. And, they, and people are going to look for us, and we're not going to be there because we'll be gone already, heaven. And the rest who stay, then they not believe him. Remember, everybody, remember to find, don't waste time what I said. Don't waste time. Focus to find God right now. Focus. Find a church or find something. Focus and take your family to church. Show them in the right way. What I'm trying to tell you, Jesus loves you guys. He, he doesn't want you to go to hell or he wants to go to heaven. He has a place for all you and me. He died for us on the cross. He sent his only son, Jesus, to die. And that's where we are right now. Yeah, I'm thankful for because my I know where I'm gonna go. I know where my family we are gonna go one day. But we if we keep his commandments, if we, if we follow his commandments, if we love him, if we pray, we sing, we keep we all gonna be going to heaven one day. If we all obey him. If that's that's what I'm trying to say. I'm gonna make another thing. I said before, and I said it before. Talk, Holy Spirit, talk to me. And sorry, give me a second. I'm trying to say anything. The, the Lord, the Lord, He's one, one. He, the Lord is one thing. Like He did, He did create this this world for us. He knew. He knew everything before the beginning. Like even he 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 really, he really destroyed the water, the waters already once. He destroyed the land, destroyed this world once with water. But this time it's not going to be water. It's going to be fire, fire. This time it will be fire, the darkness. Isn't the everything he created the universe? Everything will be destroyed. But he's creating something new for all of us, and that's we have to be ready for the day Jesus is coming. Remember, the devil is your enemy. He's your enemy. He's a liar and, and liar because he's a he's an devil. He's gonna try to tell you, do not listen to John's preaching. This he's gonna try to tell you that. But if you obey God, you don't listen to his to the devil. And then you say, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, get out. An example, get out, devil. Get out of my life and my family in the name of Jesus. But do it in the right way in the prayer. How what the Bible says, don't do it. In, don't do it in your way or you're, you're saying like, were you talking to yourself? No, say it in the right way in the name of Jesus. And those and those demons will, will, will run away. Look at that. I'll make an example. People out there outside, they don't have peace in their hearts because they don't have Jesus. They don't want to hear it. They're yelling every day. And a lot of people, they have, people have their kids and they, they, don't, they don't respect. Nobody, there's no respect anymore. They're not. Respecting the streets, the laws, everything's getting everything's getting hard now. But if we have Jesus in our hearts; everything will be fine. He always gonna open one door; he will close another. He's always gonna bless you for food. He's gonna bless you, your house, your rent, everything. But he always said we have to bless others, and yeah, we'll bless others. But we we had to put something first. One thing we had to put one one thing. One thing he's asking us is obey my laws. Obey me. I love you. I everything I have for you. Everything. Sometimes it's pretty. Sometimes it's hard for all of us to understand. Sometimes we're forgetting his commandments. But if we give thanks each day, he's gonna help us. But that's the one thing I'm gonna try to see if it was not the topic. But I'm gonna try to read one more thing. Um, if I do remember, I'll try to read something. A different verse than Matthew. Let me see. Let me see. Okay. I'll catch up in a sec. I'll try to read something. Let's see. This is. I'll try to explain what, how, when Jesus starting pre, when he starting to hit, when his, when he starting preaching. I'll try to read verse twelve, Matthew. Verse 2, verse 12. I'm going to try to read it for a little bit. Jesus began to preach. When Jesus heard that John had put in prison, he went to Galilee. He lived in Nazareth. When he he was living in the capital, 
which was by the lake and the area of Zambun. And now, from what was said to the, to the prophet Isaiah, this is where I said before, the pro, before Jesus, the prophet Isaiah already prophesied what, the coming of the Messiah. He had the vision when Jesus was coming the Messiah. It was it was other prophets who prophesied. Well. I think it was Isaiah. I think it was Daniel who would prophesy. I think it was Jeremiah. I think uh, I don't remember. I had to read it. But it's saying the Messiah was coming, but nobody believed his teachings when he came. Jesus was a uh, well, he was born a whole, he was born as a baby. But he grew up as a child. He grew up as a man. And he started preaching. He healed like miracles in his. I think he started in three years. He was. I think he was three years old. I think. 30, probably the same age of the meal like he started preaching, I think 30 years old. He did everything. He preached, he he did he healed all that people, disease and everything, miracles he did. He showed the apostles, he chose twelve. Everything he did and script and he died. He died for us so we can he died for us on the cross so we can live. And that's the reason it's in him we have to give thanks to him each day. Because if we don't have Jesus, if we don't have the Holy Spirit, we can't do nothing, everybody. Nothing we can. If we don't do what the Holy Spirit, will, if he, if you talk to Him, He, you do one of the things in His name. But if you don't talk to the, if you don't find the Holy Spirit, and you, you can't, you can, you can pray, you can heal people' disease. And Jesus said, you can. He said to the apostles, you guys can do, you can do the same thing that I'm doing to heal people. You can do the miracles that I did in my name, but in my name, in Jesus Christ, in the name. And all apostles, all apostles, they preach around the world. They they went around the world preaching. They die. They're suffering because they, they sacrifice their lives to preach. So we can keep preaching. And that's what we do in trade. Preaching. I'm sorry. Sometimes, sometimes we don't want to do that. We have to, sometimes we don't want to go outside preaching, but we have to. We, we're not doing it for ourselves. We're not doing it for ourselves. We're doing it for Jesus because God, we're preaching and telling people the, the, the news. The Messiah, the Jesus coming soon. And we have to be ready. Everything that's what we're doing. We should not be wasting time out there. Because I know an example, example like there's a lot of church, churches around the world. But, but there, if, in their churches, sometimes people, they have, they're Christians. But sometimes the Holy Spirit, they're not in their, in their, temp, in their church or temple. Because they don't have it, Jesus, but they only like talking or they're preaching in their own way. But the the, the ones we do, we 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 we're preaching and we have the Holy Spirit is different because we're obeying God's laws. We're doing everything, everything, everything. He because that's one thing. But before I fin finish, finish the one last thing before we pray. Um, remember, remember tonight. Before you go to bed tonight, ask yourself, sit down, talk to your, if you're guy, if you are parents, sit down, talk to your children and your kids, tell them about Jesus, sit down, read the Bible, read something, something, and tell them, we have to be ready, we should not be wasting time with things. This, this word is not just for, uh, for everybody, for, it's for me too, it's for, this word is for me, I, I'm preaching, this word is for everybody, for, my, for, for myself, because so I'm, I'm preaching, so, so I could keep the um I could keep the words um keep reading the Bible, keeping the Bible. I'm reading this me this message is for me and for everybody because we have to obey the law the laws God has left, and that's why this Bible I have, everybody. This is the Bible I have. This is a special Bible. This is real. Everything could the God did everything He did, and this is why. If you don't have a Bible, get a Bible, buy a Bible, or down the Bible app and read your Bible. Understand everything. You read everything. You understand it. It will help you each day to get to be a better person, to be a better, a better parent, a better friend. Everything, just like me. I, I'm reading the Bible, but I, I'm starting reading the Bible, trying to do my best to do. And, I, and if I went too fast, like. If I went too fast for talking, I apologize right now. I'm trying my best to do the deal how the Holy Spirit is showing me what God's telling me to do for you guys. But the last thing I want to do a prayer before I go. 
And I want to pray for everybody who's new in this ch channel, who who's going through the problems right now. I want to pray for for new people who are watching this video. I want to pray for people who's going. You guys probably going through some problems right now. Maybe you have problems. But I tell you, Jesus is not alone. He's with you. In the name of Jesus, Lord, thank you, Father, for this day. Thank you, Father, for this day. For allow me to preach tonight, Lord. But doing how you way, Lord, not my way, Lord. Thank you for everything. Thank you, Lord. I bless for all the families around the world who's watching this video. If somebody's going to problems, Lord, heal them, Lord. Heal them. If somebody's sad or somebody lost, somebody's lost, a, somebody lost a, um, a uh, somebody in their families, Lord, help them, Lord, heal them their hearts, Lord. Tell them you alone. You're with them, Lord. You love them, Jesus. You love me. You love my family. You love everybody, Father. You're my best friend. And I'm telling you, the Holy Spirit is my best friend. He can be your best friend too if you follow Him and you give things to Him. But, oh Lord, heal everything pain that's going, Lord. You don't want us to be all the sickness, pain. In the name of Jesus, get out. In the name of Jesus, all of them. In the name of Jesus, shalom asadla Oh, in the name of Jesus. Oh, in the name of Jesus. Oh. Jesus love you guys. He he's calling you. He's telling you I'm coming soon. We need to be ready. Do not be wasting time right now. You need to be ready. Jesus is coming soon. We don't know the day. But we, we know Father. We we're trying to be ready the day you come. Don't forget about us. Don't forget me, my family. Don't forget everybody. He loves you. He's never gonna abandon you. He's there for you right now. If you accept him in his way, if you accept him and you're baptized and you follow him, it's come up and your life will be different. Or I can't force them, but you can you you can change their lives. You can make them better lives for the for the people, for their families, everything, Lord. If, they, if somebody lost their job, Lord, bless them for a new job, for their home, their rent money, everything. You can yeah. thank you, Father, for today, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for everything, Lord. I know I did the best in this video, Lord, but I did it how you want it, not for me, Lord. Okay, I'm I'm preaching in your name, in, in Jesus, because you're my friend, my best friend, the Holy Spirit. I will never change for you. I'm never going to change for anybody, Lord. You're always going to be first. I hope first, because you're my my father, my daughter, my Lord, everything, Lord, because we're not alone. You're here tonight with us today. You're with us because you love us. Thank you for this beautiful day, Lord. We don't know if we're going to live tomorrow. Only you know if you give us life tomorrow. Only you know. Thank you, Father. In the name of, in the name of Jesus. Christ. Amen. Amen. I want to say thank you to everybody who came um, for this video, who came to you guys. Remember to um, have, remember to get thanks to the Lord each day. Remember to find Jesus. Remember, guys, He's coming soon, and we need all to be ready. We don't know the date, but we have to be ready. And yeah, I apologize if I went too fast. My voice. Next time, I'll try to talk in the right way. My voice right, guys. Yeah, and how God made me, guys. Is this is how I. Yeah. Uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful week, guys. Um, I'll see you guys next time for another video. We're happy to jump with lots. God bless you guys.